Trying to go natural. So anyway, I was looking for what new gels I have that say hold and I found one in Curl Origin, so we got a Curl Origin wash day coming up. So I'm just going to shampoo my hair and then get to it, but basically I'm using the Marula and Quinoa line for the most part. I have the Marula and Quinoa Moisture Mania Mask and I'm really hoping that it gives me like manic moisture or whatever, because I really need some moisture and my hair has been dry forever. Um, lots of kind of subpar deep conditioning sessions and deep conditioning products. And then this week I use like a Kabama gel, which you know is nice and moisturizing for my hair. So I just love a week when my hair feels moisturized and hopefully finally this is it. But yeah, I'm going to use this Moisture Mania hair mask after I shampoo. I am going to be shampooing with the, she said the Plum Nectar and I gave shampoo. I wish I could say I liked the Marula and Quinoa shampoo, but I really don't. Um, I have it here. Yeah, this didn't leave me happy, so I'm not really going to use it again at this time. I am going to use it out eventually, like kind of diluted and various stuff like it's gonna go into my kind of usual pile of shampoos that are kind of mm, kind of too strong or whatever whatever not perfect so other than the two three shampoos four I have about four that I really like and everything else is gonna go into that let's see what I can do with the pile which this is in unfortunately so I'm gonna use the she said the shampoo then get to the moisture mania and then I don't have a Miruda and quinoa even no milk. I don't know if I even ever had one or at least I'm not seeing it. I don't know. But I'm gonna use this um hibiscus shea curl hydrating leave-in and then I'm gonna get to the Merida and Quinoa Pure Flaxseed Gel, which I'm really excited to try. This is like the first purchase flaxi gel I'll be trying, I think. I wanna say PJ problems, I don't remember for sure. Usually I make my own flaxi gel, but I just bought so many gels this Black Friday that I really haven't had to make gel. Um, pretty much the whole year. <laughs> so I am going to use this. It's interesting because flaxseed gel usually has a strong hold in my hair, but this I can actually hear it like it's actually kind of watery. So I'm really curious to see what the final effect will be um, on my hair. So let's get started so we can see where this is going to leave me. Super excited. Let's go. Kind of what's becoming the usual, like a whipped kind of consistency and a fruity smell. Definitely feels like it'll spread easily and it is spreading easily. Thank you. I saw something on the jar that said 90% more moisture, don't mind if I do. So I'm gonna have to use a lot, just kind of I went crazy on the shampoo. So I'm expecting to use a lot of this deep conditioner. I would like to try co-washing midweek. I would like to just try using the co-wash again. I do miss those days, but that isn't feasible because I'm busy and I work way too much during the week. So if I could get into the midweek stuff, that would be nice and maybe then I could use the blueberry co-wash and stuff. We'll see how things go. It's a journey. Life is a journey and then your hair journey has to kind of work with your life journey. I definitely like the slip on this. Not if I necessarily feel blue slip, but my hands are going through like no problem at all, which means that there is slip regardless of the texture, I guess, of it. Because I just shampooed my hair and I totally it's hard to even remember that just because of the slip. So it isn't instantly moisturizing. I have to probably let it sit, but it's definitely instantly slippy. I guess I did use half of it. And I probably could have gotten by with like a third of it. So, so yeah, good deal for me. Okay, so I'm back after the conditioning. Does feel moisturized. I didn't say mania moisture, it wasn't like, it doesn't feel like moisture mania. I don't know if because I put too much and I still feel a coating or what, but it does feel soft and moisturized. It does have that juicy feeling. I don't know what it is, why it's not like, I'm not bold over, but <laughs> you know, like it feels soft and moisturized, but it still feels a little like if it hasn't penetrated and I don't know if it's because I put too much, which it doesn't really look like, or if something else is going on. You know? So I don't know. <laughs> but overall I think it's okay. I'm just not wow and I can't even tell you why. It just doesn't feel like magic happened. It feels good but it doesn't feel like oh my goodness. So I don't know. Like it definitely feels moisturized, don't get me wrong. I just didn't get quite the full transformation I was expecting. Still feels a little like it didn't penetrate. Maybe I put too much. Let's just say I put too much. I don't know. Come on, kill everything. Anyway, let's just rinse and get to the wash and go and we'll see what happens then. 
Okay, so I'm back. I did the back and I've to rinse this section and just do this wash and go this section. So this is with the deep conditioner still in. So the jokes are me because I didn't read every single patch of this gel. And then on this side does say soft hold. So I was hoping for a stronger hold. And I guess this definitely is not it. Because I saw I like, define and hold, definition and hold. It doesn't give me much definition or hold. The slip is just okay. And it's a lightweight gel, mostly I think by adding water to a gel. So definition hold. I don't know why they put like hole if it's like a soft hole. I don't know. I'm just feeling kind of annoyed right now because it seems like all the gels that I've tried in the last year just seems geared towards like soft hole. Like what about people who want a stronger hole, you know? So yeah. Anyways, I'm just gonna finish this off and I guess it's a big hair week, whatever, whatever. But anyways, I'm just gonna rest my hair. This is my hair after rinsing the Moisture Mania Deep Conditioner. I'm going to apply the leave-in, the Hibiscus Shake Hill Hydrating Leave-in. So I will say the leave-in is my favorite so far of the wash day. It has great moisture, great slip, you know, great definition, pretty much just everything I'm looking for. Finally, this is the product with it and this is my favorite product of the wash day. So after applying the leave-in, my hair just feels soft, moisturized, likey me likey, I like the definition and everything. Uh, but I just wish the gel was a bit more along that line. So from the time I shook the gel, I kind of knew I was up, but I was hoping for a miracle, but there was no miracle. Let me show you the... So the gel is just, just really super runny. Oh. And it doesn't do much in terms of definition or hold or anything either so it does have something it's not like a complete nothing but it just is a very mild hold and you can see i'm just kind of going back and forth because like half is falling out I, I, ha I have this method i came up with where i put it on the back of my hands too to kind of cap to capture all so basically I kind of have it in my hand and I do this <laughs> to basically make sure I kind of to prevent it from dripping basically. So it definitely has added some hole. I can't say it added none because there is a difference between with the gel and with the leave-in but I know it's kind of a mild hole I know it's gonna be big and frizzy the last like HD gel I tried was like Baskin Bloom which was over a year ago so I'm just a little disappointed and I bought so many gels this year and didn't find any like HD so disappointed by that and I guess next year there'll be more flaxseed gel in my life my hair after applying the leave-in. I do love it. I'm loving the definition, loving the moisture. This is my win of the wash day <laughs> and now I'm gonna apply the gel. Gel, no gel, gel, no gel. Is there much difference? With leave-in alone it almost looks better. It pretty much does look better than with the leave-in and the gel. The gel was just like a step back basically from just the leave-in which is like ugh difficult to process but anyway let's just finish it up and this gel might set a record I might just like just dump it all like just finish it all in my hair in one go because like it's really not doing all that much I feel like most of the natural hair companies kind of struggle with the I don't know moisturizing not crunchy stronghold gel department I don't know why this is the gel like it's very runny like it can, there's a bit of resistance, but it's pretty much runny. Like <laughs> it's hard to even apply. Like I'm putting it on the back of my hand and front just to get it to, just to get it onto my hands without it dripping off. I'm gonna use the whole bottle, and you pretty much won't be able to tell. I wouldn't give this points for definition at all, because I like it's possible to have a soft hole and still define, but this isn't defining, and there really is pretty much next to no hole. I mean, I wouldn't say none, but like maybe a three for hole. <laughs> 
and a two for definition. I will say it feels moisturizing, so, but of course light, so maybe like a seven for moisture, but I can't really rate this gel at all, as much as I may have wanted to. I mean, like it doesn't, maybe it doesn't look so bad yet, but knowing my hair is not going to hold. It's going to frizz out, most likely. Like it's not even feeling, you know how when you kind of have gel on your hands and in your hair and you rub it, it just feels kind of kind of soft, kind of coated kind of thing. And I can feel my hair through the gel basically. So it's very light. The slip is fair though, I'll say it has good slip. Not great, but good. For the consistency, it has good slip. Pretty much all I can do for this, so I'm gonna just remove the clips and shake it out and whatnot. But this is with the gel. And <laughs> based on just how the parts that I kind of done before are like puffing already, like I'm not expecting much at all. I'm foreseeing having to like um probably like do a crystal hunt on Tuesday. I mean look at this. Look at this, like this, like nothing happened. Oh my god. This whole application was just like a big Y. <laughs> this is like the failure's fail. Look at this puff right here. This is me just finishing it. just put something on it like maybe yeah, put some uncle funky on it because like there's really no point let me see like <laughs> there's no point really continuing with this so i'm gonna rewrite it and put some uncle funky on the top so i wasn't even planning to open my uncle funky that soon but it's actually the perfect save for this because there's no point in me letting this dry as it is so just rewet this half and thank you apply some uncle funky to the top of the side and I'm just gonna apply some uncle funky to the top of this side and then that'll be that <laughs> and I guess although I doubt that there'll be much more to say I'm gonna come on and dry and show you the result and the ingredients and everything right, hopefully we got something out of this in the end <laughs> all's fair in love and war all's good in natural hair YouTube product demos I don't know but <laughs> all right see you guys in a bit hi everyone i'm back with my day three result i still can't even tell you guys what happened with that gel but it was just a spectacular failure it hated my hair and i don't know why let me show you the ingredients i went through the ingredients and i couldn't even see anything like that bad like the only thing that i haven't really used in a gel is the quinoa milk so but i can't see quinoa milk just making my hair frizz out like that it was like worse than just leaving like my hair totally frizzed out while wet like it's, I've never seen that before I'm still kind of in shock usually most of my gels I want to say have like either glycerin or honey or agave so maybe beet sugar wasn't a strong enough humectant but in a sense it acted like if it had too much humectant like the way it just frizzed out so I don't know what went on this gel was a fail I used all of it, <laughs> all of it, and it was worse than leaving at the end. My hair just went poof while it was still wet. So I gave up and threw the Uncle Funky's daughter on it. Um, some Uncle Funky's daughter over the top, and this is the day three from that. So I am enjoying it. It even is a little dry, like it even could be more moisturized. Even with the Uncle Funky, and even though the leave-in I think is, is good. And the uh, weather isn't that crazy outside, like I don't know what, but we just had a failure. <laughs> just a failure so i am liking it i love the shape the volume and everything it's soft which i love just you know cute wash and go welcome back curls and everything i am enjoying it but i can still definitely see the frizz and i know it's frizzier than if i use uncle funky generally so the gel somehow just frizzed out my hair and just isn't agreeing with my hair but we saved it yeah i think this year even last year like i'm not gonna if i know it's a fail i'm not gonna <laughs> suffer through it 
for YouTube. Like I am gonna save it if it's like just completely unsalvageable. And I was gonna push through with the shell, but when I finished this side and I saw like this side just totally poofed, I was like, eh, nah, nah. <laughs> We're not doing this. So if you just like a little bit of a gel for us, a little shine, a little, little moisture, little, like you don't really need anything, then this would be a good gel for you. Other than that, stay far, leave it alone. It was just watery, so maybe, I don't know. Cause like flaxseed doesn't do me like that. It does not. When I use my homemade flaxseed gel, my hair is like laid, like elongated, like has a crunchy cast, everything. So this even talked about breaking cast, what cast boo, the ain't cast, wasn't no cast to be broken. So I don't know, big fail. So I guess we're going backwards. I don't know, this was a huge fail, horrible for me. No particular order, let's just say. Cause I want to say the Moisture Mania mask was like the one I, so this was, <laughs> this was the worst, oh god, I. <laughs> um, the best was this hibiscus shaker, like you're saying, leave-in conditioner. But it's something that I would reach for happily. My hair was moisturized, defined, soft, had great slip, we were in business. Yeah, I was loving this. Let me show you the ingredients. It does have shea butter, but the shea butter is pretty far down and I, it, it didn't affect me at all. My hair didn't feel coated at all. So I love this. And then in the middle we had this Moisture Mania hair mask. So usually for me, when I use a hair mask most times, it feels kind of coated at first. I let it sit and it feels juicy and moisturized if it's a good one. So this felt kind of coated at first, I let it sit. And then it felt like 90% juicy and moisturized and 10% still coated, which was really kind of weird for me because I don't usually, like I've never really experienced that. Either it just doesn't penetrate at all or it penetrates all the way, like it was like almost all the way penetrated, but not quite. So it was a little bit disappointing for me, but overall my hair was still moisturized and I was still happy with it. But yeah, I think everything I said while I was actually putting it on pretty much still holds true. In terms of scent, it has the kind of fruity, she scented scents, pretty much all of them. So I do like the scents. I mean, you know, I'm kind of almost like, I wouldn't mind some variety in scents in my life, but you know, nothing wrong with fruity, she scented type scents. So I was pretty happy with it. I don't know, like I really like Curly Origin the first time I tried it and I still like it. It's just like, let me know if you've had luck with Curly Origin. Let me know if you had luck with this gel. If I had to recommend Curly Origin, obviously this leave-in will be it. The Marula and Quinoa protein treatment, I really liked. So I guess that's it. It's kind of late in the night and everything. I just wanted to come on and just give you guys an update. That's what we're working with. la -di -da. Um. I am kind of liking my hair now, like in terms of just my hair, not in terms of that. Like it's been a while since I did a wash and go, so I'm like, oh, okay, hello, wash and go. I am kind of liking my shape and everything right now. So, yeah, happy week. And we'll see where I go to next in terms of products. And thanks for watching. <laughs> that was looking so crazy. Anywho, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoy this and I still am game to try more coloration. I'm just going to be super careful with the stylers. I think in general I'm going to be more careful with stylers because like I spent too much money on stylers this year and the success rate has been rather low. So I guess I'm going to have to be more careful with stylers. Maybe next year it's going to be like a DIY flax seed year again. We'll see. But yeah. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. Bye.